Hi, welcome to Bumper to Bumper, your occasional tidbit video on the Indian automobile market. I'm Shravan Raja, Managing Editor of Indian Autos Blog. Uh, many of you have been writing in, asking where the Bumper to Bumper feature has gone. Uh, honestly speaking, yes, uh, we've not been regular with our videos, but I thought I'll make one today on a topic which has been hotly debated, not only on the blog, uh, but everywhere here in India. And I think the question that we are asking all the auto, auto manufacturers is where are your long wheelbase cars? So we're going to talk only about the premium brands, which are BMW, Mercedes and Audi. So the long wheelbase cars, as you know, have a long wheelbase. That's what the name is. And they are available in China of uh, all different sizes and classes. So in China, every kind of car has a long wheelbase. So that's another discussion. So we're going to look at the premium brands, 3, 5 of uh, BMW, uh, C and E of uh, Mercedes-Benz and A4, A6 of Audi. So the 7 series A, A8 and the S-Class have long wheelbase everywhere. Uh, here in India also they are offered. Uh, that's because a lot of customers like to sit in the back. But that's also a habit with the smaller cars. For example, the 3 series and the 5 series, many of them are sitting at the back seat. Of course, if you're sitting at the back seat of a BMW M5, then you have to be a troll character. You deserve to be one. Uh, but the normal variants, yes, I see a lot of people sitting in the back seat. The new 3 series has a longer wheelbase and this uh, has been done consciously. Even the normal wheelbase model has a slightly extended wheelbase compared to their current version, which is selling here. And uh, that's really qu quite honestly because of the fact that there is lots of customers who want to sit in the back seat. Now, why doesn't BMW bring the long wheelbase 3 series in India, which they're introducing in China this month? So I think we asked ourselves the question. I think there are a couple of points that I'd like to discuss. Obviously, I'd like to know more from you. The first thing is if you if you increase the long wheel, increase the wheelbase of the 3 series, won't you take it close to the 5 series? So will cannibalization happen? Because if you stretch a 3 series, then you have to position it at the top of the ladder. So you have to position it as the top end model of the 3 series. While the best selling variants of the 5 series here in India is the 520D, which is the base model, which makes it uh, uh, price uh, price overlap. The prices start to overlap because the top in 3 series will be, I assume, will be about 35 to 40 lakh rupees while the 320D, or the sorry, the 520D is about 40 to 45 lakh rupees. So there is ca over price overlapping over there and this could lead to cannibalization. The second point is stressing a bit more on cannibalization. Uh, I don't think one goes out to buy a 5 series. I think one has 50 lakh rupees and they go out to buy a 50 lakh rupee BMW which turns out to be a 5 series. Similarly, one has 30 lakh rupees, so one goes out to buy a 30 lakh rupee BMW which turns out to be a 3 series. I think the 3 and the 5 series brands, what I mean is they haven't been here in our market for long enough uh, to, have to enjoy the status of standalone uh, entities. And uh, they are completely rely on the BMW badge to get through to the customer and they have been around in, in the Indian market for the last four years, four, three to four years. And uh, they need a lot of time to establish themselves and to collect uh, collect different adjectives. Uh, having said that, I'd like to know your thoughts on this subject. Uh, do you think that a longer 3 Series positioned as the flagship uh, three, uh, flagship model of the 3 Series brand will cannibalize into the best-selling variant of the 5 Series, which is which turns out to be a 520D in India? Or do you think that the 3 Series and 5 Series stands for different values, stand for different properties, stand, as, stand for different things altogether, that they won't be able to cannibalize into each other even if they are priced somewhat similarly? Uh, so I'll see you again with another video soon. So stay tuned to Indian Auto's blog.